Hello and welcome from Kirchheim in Germany, near Stuttgart. This is the showroom of Silver Dream, who make this rather nice model in front of me, S690DB. That's the name of the vehicle. You can see it's a monocoque shell, single shell. What does that mean? Well, the, the, bad, the bad news is it costs more. That's the disadvantage. The advantage of a sil single shell, uh, well, first of all, it's not bits which are glued together. So the only bit which is attached is one single piece which has been attached to the, to the Mercedes uh, front, so it's semi-integrated. Uh, next thing is it's easier to repair. It's lighter and uh, the, there's much less risk of water ingress because you haven't just got walls glued together or as in some cases held up by the cobwebs. This vehicle here, it's two, 690 centimeters long, it's 230 centimeters in width, height of three meters, empty weight 2,860, gives you in excess of 600 kilos, 170,274 euros. Right, so you can see the uh, interior decor is a bit different from what Silver Dream normally does in as much as the seat uh, colours are concerned but this bit here is of course my favourite layout and if they were going to give me one I'm a bit hmm, I don't know which one to choose if I choose this one here or the other one I'm going to show you so right so you've got bed at the back here you've got one step up to it and under the bed we have and let's have a look there's the garage and uh, you could nip out the back there if you forget something. It's a big garage. Yeah, we'll have a look at the garage from the other side. I think that's more logical. Here we have the shower, which of course would benefit from two uh, drain drainage holes. And we've got a fan up there, extractor. And we've got another one here as well. And what this one here does, you turn that one up there, turn it on, and air comes out up here and at the other side as well here we have the toilet and if you want to have a really large toilet what you can do is you can close the door like that and then you can see the shower or you can be in the shower my other toilet A lot of space here. And closing the door like that might also be an advantage if somebody's sleeping up front. I will come to that bed in a while. Large kitchen here. Three burners. Bit of space up there for when you're preparing food. Very large sink for a vehicle of this size. And storage up here. Stick my hand in. I think so. How far it goes back. I'll stick my arm in. Fact. And what I like about this is I like this nice contour shape, which I think might be visible now. I think that looks quite nice. And uh, right on the other side, we have a bit stiff wardrobe, and down here some drawers which are properly made right um up front okay obviously you've got two seats captain's chairs they'll turn around this l-shaped sitting group in this color personally i prefer the one the color they usually use which is white but uh, you mightn't and I suppose this does actually match the seats which are up front and what we've got here is got this bed and this bed will drop down drops down with one hand it drops down very easily and that shows you how much space there is there it comes with a ladder uh, which you can use to get yourself into bed if you don't feel like standing on this chair and pulling yourself up like that or from the table which is probably what most of us would do but uh, that's not what we should do got this nice big uh, uh, what do you call them things? Uh, sunroof, 
sun, uh, whatever, window in the roof, and uh, place to hang your coat up. You can see what your score is on your electricity, your water. You've got an automatic um, awning, uh, electronic awning, I suppose that's, uh, and you can even turn the, the inverter on from up here, should you want to do so. So it's a nicely thought out uh, vehicle. Yeah, I'll take you outside and we'll have a walk around the outside as well. Obviously, you, uh, as one would expect, there is a fly screen in the door. And there's a big garage at the back as well. I'll show you one or two other vans while I'm here. So, this one here is almost 200,000 euros, 770 centimeters in length. So, similar front, only it's in this white leather. And at the back, we've got the, uh, this bed. So it's what, 80 centimeters longer. You can see these in separate videos where I've gone into them in more detail. Now, this one here well, comes at a price also getting on for 200,000, well, 190, 186, really. Uh, this is under seven meters in length, 230 centimeters in width. So, but it's got this uh, rear wonderful rear lounge and colors uh, i think uh, th this this i think is quite quite magnificent it's quite quite regal in my opinion and up front we've got this uh, the bed up here and here this will pull out see the steps to allow you to get into the bed up there there's the shower and on the other side of course we have the toilet. Uh, the beds, uh, sorry an extra bed at the back can be made out of the seating group and if you really want it. So I suppose it would, it would sleep four if it came to it. This one here, S6691DB, 160,000 plus. Well, this is somewhat similar with the uh, double bed at the back. Lots of other small double beds, not a, not a particularly large one. rather unusual to to see what the point of this is but i'll find out i'll find out when i do the video of this in more detail And here we have one with a smaller garage, S641FB, 156,000. And the lights haven't been turned on yet, so uh, I'll turn the lights on. This is the first time I've been in this one, in fact. Side bed, as you could probably tell from the, um, the shape of the garage. Now these vehicles have a double floor, which is a pretty, which is pretty useful 
for uh, keeping out the cold and uh, for, for allowing for extra storage. And uh, you put all the technical stuff will be in the double floor. The downside of the double floor is that it makes it higher, which will increase fuel consumption. And this is the same as the other one, except it seems to be slightly different color scheme. So, there you have it. Five vehicles and which one do you prefer? Write your answers down below and uh, thanks for watching. And uh, during this tour, I hope to be taking you some more places. I didn't show you this vehicle here, by the way, because I can't access it. That's, that's it's on a, uh, I think it's a weighing machine. I don't know. So anyway, I'll, I'll show you, I'll show you more vehicles on the tour from all sorts of manufacturers. Uh, I hope you find that of interest. And uh, so thanks for watching. And uh, please put your comments below. All the best from Germany.